A drinking cup from a water fountain has the shape of an inverted cone. The cup has a height of 8 centimeters and a radius of 3 centimeters. The water in the cup also has the shape of an inverted cone with a radius of r and a height of h. The diagram of the drinking cup shows two right triangles, a large triangle for the entire height of the cup and a smaller triangle for the water in the cup. The two triangles have identical angles, so they can be classified as similar triangles. In part a, use similar triangle ratios to express r as a function of h. We have two triangles embedded in the cone. Let's draw them separately so we can see things with more clarity. In similar triangles, the ratios of corresponding sides are equal. Cross multiply to get 8r equals 3h. Divide both sides by 8 to get r equals 3h over 8. We can rewrite this as the function r of h equals 3h over 8. In part b, we'll derive the composite function v of h equals v of r of h for the volume of the water in the cone. Begin by writing the information we know. The volume of a cone is v equals 1 over 3 pi r squared h, and the radius function from part a is r of h equals 3h over 8. Also, we are trying to find the composition of the volume of the cone and the radius. Set up the workspace. Rewrite the composition using regular function notation. Replace r of h with 3h over 8. Before we can continue, we need to evaluate v of 3h over 8. We know the volume of a cone is v equals 1 over 3 pi r squared h. Replace r with 3h over 8. Square 3h over 8 to get 9h squared over 64. Simplify to get 3 over 64 pi h cubed. The composite function is v of h equals 3 over 64 pi h cubed. Why is function composition useful for this problem? Function composition lets us take a two-variable function, v of r and h equals 1 over 3 pi r squared h, and convert it to a single variable function, v of h equals 3 over 64 pi h cubed. This is a very useful conversion, since it is far easier to work with single variable functions than multivariable functions. If you take a calculus course, you will often use function composition to reduce a two-variable function to a single variable function. These are called related rates word problems. Now we'll move on to part C. If the volume of water in the cone is 3 pi cubic centimeters, determine the height of the water. Start with the volume function v of h equals 3 over 64 pi h cubed. Replace volume with 3 pi. Three and pi exist in the monomials on either side of the equation, so they cancel out. This gives us 1 equals 1 over 64 h cubed.
Cross multiply to get 64 equals h cubed. Cube root both sides to isolate h. This gives us h equals 4. The height of the water in the cone is 4 centimeters when the volume of water is 3 pi cubic centimeters.